If you're thinking about moving to Nova Scotia or buying a home here in Nova Scotia, Halifax may not be the best choice and I'm going to tell you why. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg Pierce. I am a local real estate agent and investor here in the Halifax, Nova Scotia area. And today we're going to be talking about five reasons why you should consider Dartmouth as the best place to plant your roots here in Nova Scotia. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know that I am a huge advocate of Dartmouth. I am a little bit biased. I live in Dartmouth. I grew up in the area. So yes, there's absolutely bias, but there's a lot of valid reasons on why Dartmouth is a better option than Halifax. And I'm going to go over all the different reasons on why you should consider Dartmouth over Halifax and keep a little bit more money in your pocket, which is what everyone's after. Make sure you stay until the end because the last point may surprise you after telling you why Halifax is not a good option. So reason number one why you need to consider Dartmouth is its natural beauty. Dartmouth is situated along the beautiful coastline of the Halifax Harbor, which offers expansive views of the Atlantic Ocean, beautiful landscapes, and more importantly, the ever expanding city skyline of Halifax, which is a huge asset and something that people have joked about being the only good thing about Dartmouth is the view of Halifax. Dartmouth is also known as the city of lakes and has tons of parks and trails to enjoy while you're outside, including Shuby Park, Dartmouth Cove, Dartmouth Commons, Lake Bannock, and Sullivan's Pond, just to name a few. Now, reason number two is community atmosphere. Dartmouth has a very welcoming community and a great vibe with amazing welcoming locals. And a big reason of this is the massive sense of pride from being the underdog. Halifax has always been the big brother to Dartmouth and Dartmouth has lived in the shadow of Halifax, which often gave it its name of the dark side. However, recently it's been coined as Halifax's Brooklyn as the downtown core has come to life with new restaurants, shops, and it's really starting to blossom and take off. All right, now this is a real estate channel, so obviously we need to be talking about home prices, and that is reason number three, is the affordability of the homes here in Dartmouth compared to Halifax. So compared to the larger city of Halifax, Dartmouth offers affordable housing relative to the Halifax prices, while still offering tons of access to urban amenities on this side of the bridge. So whether you're looking for a cozy downtown apartment or a single family home, you have a wide variety of options over here on the Dartmouth side, depending on the location that you're looking for and your budget. In general, the average price point for a single family home in Dartmouth has been around $200,000 less than the same product on the other side of the bridge over in the city of Halifax. This is just another reason why you should consider living in Dartmouth over Halifax, as Dartmouth still offers big city lifestyle without big city prices. Reason number four you need to consider Dartmouth is the historical charm. Dartmouth boasts a rich history dating back to the 18th century, and throughout Dartmouth, you're gonna find well-preserved heritage buildings, historical landmarks, and even well-run museums like the Dartmouth Heritage Museum. All right, before we get to the final part, please do me a huge favor, like this video, tap that subscribe button, and hit that notification icon so that you can be informed anytime I release new content. All right, as much as I've talked about avoiding Halifax when you're moving to Nova Scotia and living in Dartmouth, this point is going to contradict that because reason number five on why Dartmouth is such a great option is its proximity to Halifax. Dartmouth is conveniently located across the harbor from Halifax, which is the capital of Nova Scotia here on the east coast of Canada. And although Dartmouth has all the amenities you could ever need and is fully self-sustainable, Halifax does offer another degree of entertainment, the city's lifestyle, sports venues, things like amazing, incredible restaurants. You need to cross the bridge to experience some of that stuff. And that is a huge asset. There definitely is a big difference in the lifestyle of being in Halifax versus Dartmouth, but living in Dartmouth and being able to visit Halifax is a huge bonus. You can either take one of the two bridges and drive down to downtown Halifax in a matter of 10 to 15 minutes, or take the world renowned ferries across for very little amount of money and enjoy a cheap harbor tour while you get your way over there. You can enjoy the experience in the open air top level during nice days, or you can hide out underneath in the heated covered enclosed area and enjoy that during the not so nice weather. Either way, it is a great option and runs on a regular schedule. All right, if you've made it this far in the video, I know that you're interested in this information and potentially moving to Nova Scotia. I would love to have a call with you and chat more about any questions that you might have about Dartmouth or Halifax or Nova Scotia in general. So please click on the Calendly link below and book a time that's convenient for you. I'd be happy to set aside a no strings attached phone call or a Zoom call, whatever's most convenient for you and chat about any of your real estate questions. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and as always, I'll see you on the next one.